through the bubblegum forest behind the great mount. A mischievous crew are bumming about. It's Christmas morning and nothing is heard but Cookie and Johnny playing Angry Birds. It's 8am and the others aren't up, said Coke with cocoa and cream in his cup. I can't wait for presents, he said with a smirk, but Johnny just sighed like a miserable jerk. This is boring, Jonathan said. Let's go get the others to get out of bed. Hooray, yelled Coke in a whimsical glee. Is Timbo awake yet? Let's go and see. They ran upstairs and knocked on the door. Timbo was stirring and starting to snore. Come on, Timbo, it's Christmas Day. Get up out of bed, it's time to go play. Timbo rolled over with a frustrated frown. Just give me a minute, I'll be right down. Pearl walked out of her room, rubbing her eyes. Merry Christmas, yelled Coke to Prickle's surprise. Coke frowned and realised he was hungry. Pearl, I want pancakes, my tummy is rumbly. All right, you rascal, said Pearl with a smile. Come down to the kitchen, they'll just take a while. Yay, yelled Coke as he smiled and jumped. But still Johnny frowned like an unhappy grump. What the hell's up your butt, Pearl and Coke said. Are you guys kidding me, you know? Harry's dead. He got trampled by wildebeest last week at the mall, and it seems like you guys don't care at all. Just then Timbo walked in. We all care, he claimed, but we all agreed today Harry wouldn't be named. Coke got teary. Damn it, Johnny, why? Don't talk about Harry, you'll make Cookie cry. Pancakes are ready. Oh boy, what a treat. Coke stopped crying and started to eat. They all grabbed their pancakes and stuffed their mouths when Coke saw some smoke from outside the house. He ran to the window and looked next door. The house was on fire from the roof to the floor. Oh no, said Coke, we've got to get out. The smoke is all coming from Jenny's house. Screw Jenny, said Timbo, she's a horrible girl. It was this day last year she hurt our dear Pearl. Hi Jenny, Merry Christmas, I see you're alone. Why not spend Christmas with us in our home? There's cheer and presents and plenty of food, and if I didn't ask you, I'd only feel rude. Jenny looked up with a shocked expression. Shut up, you tool, I don't want your presents. I don't need you guys, you're pathetic and edgy. And my name is Genesis, not fucking Jenny. Okay, bye Jenny, come over any day, Pearl said with a smile as she skipped away. Well, we have to go save her despite her behaviour. Whatever she's done, she's still our neighbour. With that, Coke left and ran to the rescue. Don't worry, Jenny, I'm gonna come get you. He banged on the door and the others did too. Stand back, said Timbo on his big kangaroo. Timbo bounced over and kicked the door down. Wait, where did Timbo get a kangaroo? The crew ran inside, it was hot as a sauna, and Jenny was hiding down in a corner. Come on, said Coke as he took her outside. If you all didn't save me, then I would have died. I'm sorry for treating you guys so bad. It's okay, said Pearl, it's all in the past. So Jenny joined them for dinner, presents and all, and the bumming crew Christmas was totally cool. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Me. 